क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अ लाइट सोर्स विच इमिट्स टू वेव लेंथ लैमडा वाई एंड लैमडा टू इज यूज इन अंग्स डबल सेल एक्सपेरिमेंट इफ रिकॉर्डेड फ्रिंज विथ फॉर लैमडा वन एंड लैमडा टू आर बीटा वन एंड बीटा टू एंड द नंबर ऑफ फ्रिंजेस फॉर दैम विद इन डिस्टेंस वाई ऑन वन साइड ऑफ द सेंटर मैक्सिम आर एम वन एंड एम टू सो वी नो दैट फ्रिंज विथ बीटा इज इक्वल टू लैमडा कैपिटल डी डिवाइड बाई स्मॉल डी सो सो हियर लैमडा टू is greater than lambda 1 therefore beta 2 must be greater than beta 1 again mth maximum and mth maximum are coinciding that means m1 beta 1 should be equal to m2 beta 2 since beta 2 is greater than uh, beta 1 implies m1 should be greater than m2 and option c for the central maximum third maximum of lambda 2 overlaps with fifth uh, fifth minimum the so third maximum of lambda 2 that means uh, it is 3 lambda 2 d divided by small d should be equal to fifth minimum of lambda 1 that means it is 2 into fifth 5 minus 1 divided by 2 into lambda 1 d divided by small d by solving we will get 3 lambda 2 is equal to 9 lambda 1 divided by 2 by putting the value left hand side is equal to right hand side and option d the angular separation of fringes of lambda 1 is greater than lambda 2 no because lambda 2 is greater than lambda 1 since lambda 2 is greater than lambda 1 hence angular separation corresponding to lambda 2 will be greater than lambda 1 hence the option will be your a b and c Question number five: Two ideal batteries of EMF V1 and V2, and three resistances R1, R2, and R3 are connected as shown in figure. The current in the resistance R2 would be zero. So in the question, it is given that the current in R2 is zero. So if we draw the diagram, so here in current current in r2 is zero if current in r2 is zero that means uh, current in r1 and r3 must be equal so current in r1 will be your v1 divided by r1 that should be equal to v2 divided by r3 so we check we will check option a b c and d so by checking option the answer will be your a b and d because option a b and d are satisfying this above equation 